special package today. Let me just grab my knife. Uh? Huh? Come on, come on, that was kind of cool, right? What I've got here are some of the first production drib motors. If you've been watching my videos, you may have seen these copper motors on my quads before, but these are actually the first from the full production run. What I've had on my quad were some prototype samples. They were really close to the final version, but I am super excited to have the final drib motor here. Oh, I love it. I love it. Look at this. Sorry, it's a little reflective, but look, it's got my name on it and everything. Huh? Huh? And, oh, sweet. Yeah, it comes with a different sticker. The Hype Trains came with that orange skull sticker. Mine's got this purple drib logo on it. Oh, man, this is awesome. I've actually already seen some people get theirs before I got mine. The first one I saw was Paximo2000 on Instagram. He was using my motors for his first ever quad build, which, I don't know, that just made my day to here. I'm really excited that these are finally done and out there. This is based on the original freestyle hype train. We stayed with the 2306 motor size, but we raised the KV from 2450 to 2650, and also we changed the colors to be bright silver instead of that darker titanium finish, and then the ring is this copper, and I don't know, I've, I've never seen this color done on a motor before. But another difference between my motor and the other hype train motors is I went to a multi-stranded winding. The original Freestyle and Tommy's motor both have single strand windings which both look good and work really well for their KV. But we did a lot of testing to optimize this motor to work well with the high KV and we found that the multi-stranded was a little bit more efficient. And that's what's great about this. See, I always have liked high KV motors because there's more of that top end power. I just like being able to get more RPM out of my motors. But the issue typically is you lose a little bit of efficiency. You see a drop in flight times and sometimes you even lose the low-end power, like the low-end torque. But because of the stator sizing and the windings and a lot of the other technologies built into this, I think this is still an amazing all-around motor. When I fly this around, I have all the low-end power and torque that I could want but I get the added benefit of having more top end RPM. And I just feel more confident when I'm pulling out of dives or when I need to really power backwards in like a weird matty esque move or something like that. So overall, a really similar performance to the standard freestyle motor, but optimized for my style of flying. I'm really excited to have had the opportunity to make something like this. So thank you guys for the support. It's crazy to get to a point where I get to do something like this. And if you've already gotten some, thank you. Tag me on Instagram, I'm at Drew Camden. I'm gonna pop these motors onto a quad and then let's get out and fly them. You really hurt me You told people that you broke me And maybe you did And maybe you did But I'm not over it How the hell do I get over this? You said you made a mistake Then you walked away But when you have my hand Sun. I knew it wouldn't last I knew it'd come undone But when you held my hand Under the vintage sun This is over 
I feel a little colder You shut me down You shut me down But this is all just irrelevant Trying to find a way to remember this Cause even though it hurts It hurts so good But when you have my hand Under the winter sun But kind of warmish night. Nah, it's cold. It's, it's cold. Which I don't know. It's we're we're gonna play pool. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha.